Hey there guys, this is the first of the LED bar type lights from Mars Hydro that I've seen and tested. This one is called the FC4800. The FC standing for foldable commercial. So I'd be interested to see what the quality of it like is like, um, how it performs, and is it really you know, up to um, the sort of commercial standards as they should be. Straight away when I took it out of the box, I noticed that it's, it's a very light form, very solid build. It's got particularly strong hinges here, um, steel hinges on the fold, which some I have to say um, have a little bit of flex in them and aren't as robust as you might want them to be. The form of the LED bars is very slim. And so there's lots of, of um, air or gaps in between. So it has a very low profile, which is great for airflow. And also maybe if you want to use um, UVB fixtures above or anything like that. The spread is very interesting. So the bars are not evenly um, spaced. Um, there are more to each end and the gaps are larger in the center. And that allows for better light spread, which means you can get this one a little bit lower than otherwise to the, um, to the canopy and also get a more even light distribution. The same goes for the distribution of the LEDs in this, um, in this direction on the LED bars. And I found that to be very good, performs very well in terms of spread, but we'll see that soon. Another good feature of this one is that you can mount the driver on top of the um, LED bars if you want, but you can also mount it separately. And the driver has all the usual controls that you expect now in terms of dimming controls, on off switch, and the ports for um, remote control and daisy chaining multiple units. It's a MOSO driver, which are good quality drivers. And um, it's got plenty of cable, both on the power side, where there's about uh, two meters, two and a half meters or eight feet. And the same uh, on the plug side, I should say, the power plug side, and also between the driver and the LED bars quite a distance there as well, about two and a half meters or eight feet. So all in all, very well specified, uh, nicely finished. Um, and uh, yeah, also additionally, of course, the Spectrum, I did test the Spectrum. Um, Spectrum, they've got um, mid color white um, LEDs along with reds and deep blues. You can see here that it's got full spectrum, totally suitable from growing from seed to flower, and that's covered. It's specified for a four by four or 1.2 by 1.2 meter area. So that's what I put it into, into the test area, put the silver mylar walls around to um, replicate grow tents environment. And I dropped it down until the center point measurement was in around a thousand micromoles. Pleased to see that, that um, the height, the optimum height I found, which was 16 inches or 40 centimeters, is very close to what was specified in the manuals and on the website, which is great. So yeah, got a good, um, good result. So 480.8 watts, so bang on in terms of uh, consumed wattage, and delivered a average power of 738 micromoles across the grow area. You can see there, quite a nice spread uh, and uniformity. Um, across the um, plant canopy also. So really nice result there. Total system efficiency of 2.21 micromoles per watt, which for this price range is excellent. It's very good. And um, yeah, overall quite impressed. All right. There are links below um, to discounts. If you want them, uh, if you want to pick one up, um, just um, enter MyGo. And yeah, looking forward to hearing your comments and uh, queries on this light. As always, leave them in the comment section below. I'll get them back to you as soon as I can and take care.